speak the word. Number one, in prayer to God. And number two, you speak it over negative situations and circumstances. You can speak the word, returning God's word to him. Bringing it before him, presenting your case. But you can also speak the word over negative situations and circumstances. The Bible says to say to the mountain. So we can speak to negative situations and circumstances. Praise the Lord. Speak the word. How do you speak the word? To speak the word means to lift scripture and speak it over situations. Lift scripture from the Bible, not opinions. To speak the word does not mean to just talk empty talk. When Satan came to Jesus, Jesus would have said, Satan, I am not your mate. There's one song they used to sing as a devil, I senior you. That's just a song. That's not scripture. You don't tell the devil, devil, I senior you. And he leaves. There is no record in scripture where that is a weapon of victory. You see, many times we are speaking. Look up, please. Let me have your attention. Many times we are speaking, but what we are saying is not scriptural. That's why it does not work. It's not just to open your mouth and say something. What you are saying, is it consistent with the word? Speak the word. So, let the weak say what? Let the poor say. Let those trusting God for a job declare that in the name of Jesus, favor is locating me. Based on scripture, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. You see that? I have said before you life and death and you declare I choose life. As a man of God you declare I will never be frustrated in ministry because the Bible says the Lord walking with them confirming the words with signs following. There's no barrenness in my hands because a command was given to me be fruitful and so I declare according to God's word I am fruitful. This is how to live. It's not what you do on Sunday. The just shall live by faith. And one of the major portion of the faith equation is speaking consistent with scripture, not consistent with feelings. Hey, yeah, it's not fair. All those things only console you. They don't provide solutions. When Satan came to Jesus, he said, it, I've taught you, is written. He found Luke chapter 4, what was written concerning him, the messianic prophecy. Listen to me. You see why it is important to know the word? Because if you do not know the word, you will not know what to speak. What will you say? You can't speak the word in ignorance. My organs are functioning perfectly from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. As I grow in age, I grow in strength. I grow in wisdom. You must speak it and believe it. The favor of God is upon my life. I'm like a well-watered garden. In the name of Jesus, my coming out is blessed. This is what you do when you wake up in the morning. It's not what you do when you are in trouble. If you speak only when you are in trouble, it's too late already. You send the words in the future like protocol to wait for you. You wake up in the morning as you are stretching. This is the day that the Lord has made. I decree and declare that I rejoice. It's God that made the day, not the devil. So God made the day factoring my interest. I decree and declare. I rejoice in the Lord always. Again I rejoice. Nothing annoys me. I live a life of joy and peace. I'm going to the office today. I decree and declare by the hand of God, favor is waiting for me. I go forth with joy and I am led forth with peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, a thousand fall by my side, ten thousand by my right hand, none will harm me. While you are speaking, you will look like a fool until your life starts obeying you. You are a preacher in the name of Jesus. I'm going to church today. The Lord himself, Jesus is drawing as many who would receive the word, who will be planted in the house of God, who will grow. You are declaring it by the Spirit. 
this exam I'm about to write in the name of Jesus I have supernatural intelligence there is a spirit in me and the inspiration of the Almighty is able to make me of understanding oh but where will your supplies come from your father has, has, has stopped taking care of you your mother is far you are alone no I'm not alone in the name of Jesus for thou art with me it says goodness and mercy should follow me how come I'm a, I'm a, i can't be alone there are spirits following me they are not just following me for nothing goodness is a spirit mercy is a spirit you never get stranded when these spirits follow you hallelujah you hear for instance that there is crisis somewhere the first thing you do before you begin the ministry of intercession is to declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm part of the body of Christ. I'm about to intercede for those who are hurting. But for now, I declare there is a wall of fire around me. I am fortified supernaturally. I never go where there is trouble. My steps are ordered by the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am delivered from the scourging tongues of men. No divination and no enchantment against me will prosper. What you are saying is the realm of the spirit the angels are saying we hear you we have been commanded to manifest the things you are saying can I tell you this medical people would tell us that part of the primary assignment of depression is to bring you to a point of silence depression brings you to a point where you no longer can speak I don't know how this life is. Life is unfair. They just sacked me like that. What kind of thing is this? If life is unfair, you make it fair by declaring the word. Are we together? Yes. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I run into it and I am saved. I declare that I'm supernaturally protected. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me, it shall fall in judgment. You are speaking. That's your miracle service every day. You get up in the morning and you are declaring. And you step out and someone says, I've been trying to reach you. Of course. You have sent words already. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at work in him. The devil now says, what makes you believe that out of the 10,000 people that applied that job, you will get? Oh, the grace for honor is upon me. There is a grace that distinguishes me. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Yes. Learn to speak the word. Every believer is a talking spirit. This planet is voice activated. You activate possibilities in this kingdom through faith-filled speaking. Faith-filled speaking. When you begin to speak, it may look like nothing is happening yet. But listen to me, blessed people of God. Keep speaking. You are a man of God in the name of Jesus. One day the nations will honor the name of the Lord upon my life. I decree and declare my beginning be small I declare that my latter end though my beginning be small my latter end shall surpass this beginning while you are speaking it you are having pictures of your village pictures of where you are coming from pictures of the fact that you cannot speak English very well pictures of the fact that you did not have the opportunity to go to a, a good school you keep declaring by the spirit of God and watch God honor you Everybody say, speak the word. I'm going to give you one minute. It's part of the miracle service. I'd like you to begin to declare whilst you are sitting or standing, inside or outside. Once you can hear me, those following online, declare. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. The Lord is my light and my salvation. In the name of Jesus kept by his word, lifted by his grace. My path is as a shining light. It shines ever brighter onto the perfect day. Don't be distracted. 
everything I lay my hands to do is blessed in the name of Jesus. When men say there is a casting down, I declare in Jesus' name that there is a lifting, there is a rising up in the name of Jesus. Premature death will never, never have its toll on my life. The fullness of my days I fulfill. I shall not be a victim of the arrows that fly by day, the noise of pestilence, the destruction that wasted in noon day. Are you speaking? Declare by the Spirit. Fortify by the power of God. Fortify by the power of God. Fortify by the power of God. Fortify. Pray, pray. Don't look around. Fortify by the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Declare by the Spirit. I refuse to be a victim in the name of Jesus. I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. Every tree that has not been planted by God is uprooted from my life, uprooted from my destiny. Every tree that is not the planting of the Lord is uprooted from my life, uprooted from my destiny. Every tree that is not the planting of God, appearing as ill health, appearing as disease, is rooted from my life. I reject failure. I reject failure. I reject failure in the name of Jesus Christ. My life is full of victory. I reject failure by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, the word of God is lifting me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything I do is blessed. Everything I do is blessed. Everything I do is blessed. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the country. In the name of Jesus, my going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is working for me. It's producing supernatural results. In my life, in the name of Jesus, I am a sign and a wonder by the power of the word. I am a sign and a wonder. I declare by the spirit, I am a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare over your children. Declare over your family. Declare over your job. Declare over your business. Declare over ministry. Declare over your finances. The wisdom of the Spirit is at work in me. In the name of Jesus, supernatural ideas, everything I lay my hands to do is blessed. I prosper in the name of Jesus. I prosper even as my soul prospers. I'm growing in the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, growing in the world, growing in power, growing in wisdom, growing in leaps and bounds. Never a worse tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Don't be tired. It's part of the miracle service. You are declaring spiritual realities. You are commanding them to be. You are commanding them to happen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is how it works in this kingdom. You are in business, get into your store, close the place, and begin to speak. In the name of Jesus, I call for customers. I call for helpers. I have put all, you are a ministry, you are a man of God. Don't sit down and let your ministry go down. Don't sit down and let the devil triumph over you. Go and lock that church, only you inside. Or you and your prayer partners or prayer warriors, and begin to speak. In the name of Jesus, the spiritual gates of this church is open open to receive souls open to receive as many who will be changed who will be saved whether in Zaria or whatever nation there are still enough people seeking Jesus it's Bishop Oyedeko who will say a closed mouth is a closed destiny it's not a cliche it's true don't keep quiet and then complain about what is happening to you Never outgrow speaking the word. Never say, I am too big. Never outgrow speaking the word. Believe me, never outgrow speaking the word. Never, those who already have results are still doing it. Don't outgrow it. Never outgrow speaking the word. Every time you are faced with negative situations, before you start calling people who cannot help you, the first thing you do is make sure your voice is registered in the realm of the spirit. I'm coming out of this. You are in a financial situation in the name of Jesus. It will not have the best of me. The wisdom of God is at work in me. I'm coming out of this situation. How will your school fees come? How will your rent be paid? How will you complete the house? In the name of Jesus, one thing I know is that the wisdom of God is at work in me. The ministry of destiny help us at work in my life. Hallelujah. Listen, nobody is blessing you. Nobody is coming by God to help you. Everybody is leaving you to suffer alone. Don't keep quiet. You may not have money, but talk is. To pray is not, you don't need money to pray. Lock yourself in the name of Jesus. Father, I am not lazy. While I am trusting you to give me ideas that lift me, destiny helpers are real. I call them by the Spirit. You are praying faithful, provoking prayers. Many believers sit down and live defeated lives. And yet scripture is here to guarantee your increase. For as long as I live, my mouth will not be silent over my destiny. I will speak. And what you speak must be scripture for it to work. If you speak what your tribal people believe, it will not work. If you speak what society says, it will not work. The voice of lamentation does not produce results. It is the word. Are we together? All of a sudden you sense that a pain is coming here and the devil starts lying to you. It's midlife crisis. Something is already beginning to happen. Oh, you are a man. Maybe prostrate cancer. Oh, you are a woman. Maybe something is happening. In the name of Jesus, if the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. My brother, my sister, if, if you don't begin to declare, don't wait when it's too late and you don't have the energy. In the name of Jesus, this body is prepared to serve the Lord. A body has thou prepared for me. Therefore, I declare that infirmity has no place to stay in my body. In the name of Jesus Christ. supernatural strength is working in me you lay your hands on your mind I am not dull in the name of Jesus understanding is at work in me the spirit that gives understanding sometimes you can be confused as a leader quite honestly you don't know what to do do I go left or right instead of misleading people in pride go to God the Bible says then the secret was revealed unto Daniel Lord there has to be a way out of this there has to be a way out of this I obtain grace. How will I pay the school fees of five children? And as it is right now, there is nothing in the bank. There has to be a way. I tap into the wisdom of the spirit.